Hey everybody, Jedi Jack Luther here. It's October 17th, it's Friday night, and we got a box in the mail. So it's time for what's in the box. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and find out what we got. Um, oh, let's get into it. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Alright, so, in keeping with the figures I've been collecting, of course I collect mostly the WWE Elite figures. Um, that's what we got tonight. We have Series 30, um, Batista. And Batista, sorry for the glare, is for some reason they put him in backwards. Um, this is the variant edition where he's facing the back so you can see all his tattoos that they painted on him. The other edition is him facing frontwards, which is evidently not as collectible. However, I've seen backwards facing Batista all over the internet he evidently is not as rare as you would be led to i'm thinking that the front facing is the more rare variant but uh the one i ordered um the picture of it was front facing and um uh, I, I don't particularly care i'm going to open it anyway so it doesn't matter what side he's on um i think it's kind of strange but uh but he's in the elite packaging here with all these tattoos on there Try to get that in there. Um, you're seeing the reflection of my phone off of the package. I do apologize. Um, he didn't come with any outfits or any clothes or any accessories. His accessories is highly detailed tattoos. Um, don't know if that's an accessory, but I guess they ran out of money to put stuff in them. But, I mean, that's fine. Here's the back of the package here. It's Batista talks about him. He's returned to the Royal Rumble back in um, earlier part of the year. And it shows some of the figures that are in the line. Uh, there's Ryback, uh, Brock Lesnar, the Road Warriors, and Lex, uh, Lu Lex Luger. Um, particularly, I'm not really fascinated with Series 30. Um, the only ones I really would love to have is the Road Warriors. Uh, that's just 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 me that's just old school i love the old 80s uh wrestlers and the and uh, the legion of doom was probably one of the best tag teams i absolutely love them so yeah i would love those figures but really don't want ryback i already got a brock lesnar and i really don't care about lex luger to be quite honest with you i mean it's just never was a huge lex luger fan but i won batista here and and um batista actually cost me nothing I got this figure for free, but let me explain kind of how I did that. Um, we went to uh, Walgreens. I was going to say Walmart. We didn't go there. We went to Walgreens to get something. And I was browsing a little toy aisle, and they had Walking Dead dog tags, the new season three ones. Now, I, I used to watch the show, and I'll admit I kind of fell out of it. You know, just I just stopped watching. And I really don't want to try to catch up. Hang on, water break. So, but I was feeling the bags because in, in them are relic dog tags. And if you don't know what a relic tag is, it's uh, it's a dog tag. You know, you most collectible dog tags they have out of the blind packaging. One, they're very thin pieces of metal, just thin metal with the picture on it. The relics are very thick because they house um, the two plates and then they have a piece of fabric. And it's a piece of fabric from uh, outfit that one of the characters wears. And I got one of the woman who plays Beth on the show. Um, so I had it. I was really excited because for the longest time I've been hunting them down. But I was hunting them down when I was a big fan of the show. I don't watch the show anymore. So I just found it was interesting to me. Well, that only cost me $4. So I was like, well, I really don't need it. I found it, so I've accomplished that much, which is all I wanted to do, so I sold it. Sold it for $25. So I made a $21 profit off of that. And this figure cost was $22. So the most the majority of the money I got went to, that was profit went toward this figure. So I paid four dollars for a dog tag, which netted me a $22 figure. That's not bad. <laughs> In any stretch of the imagination, that's not bad at all. Um, but that's that's how that was. I have um, 
I just ordered, I sold, and I had a I had a duplicate CM Punk figure I didn't need. Sold that, and I used part of that money and a little bit more, and I got me one of the Uso brothers coming in from Series 31. So not only do I have a figure from Series 30, I got one from Series 31 coming in, which I'm really happy about. So I got one of the brothers, I got to find a way to get the other brother. Um, and then I'll have both of the Usos. Uh, series 31 has a lot of good figures in it. I'm not really keen on Series 30, but 31's got, you know, he, they put in Big, Ban, Big Bad Vader. Um, oh, Big Van Vader. Um, a big guy with the red and the black, and he had this uh, Mastodon helmet on. And he comes with the Mastodon helmet, which is really cool. I mean, just to display that would be neat. Um, but they have the Uso brothers. They have a whole bunch of different figures in that series. I just can't wait to get my hands on. Like I said, the only ones out of this one is I got Batista and um, and the, the Road Warrior, the uh, Legion of Doom, a uh, hawk and animal. Um, I want to get those. And like I said, one, one of these, I think I got Jimmy Uso coming in. Um, and I also got something coming in. I haven't checked my mail yet, and I doubt it's here. Uh, I ordered it from Malaysia. There's a guy on uh, eBay. He makes... He makes uh, cloth accessories for the six inch Star Wars figures. So if you have like Obi-Wan Kenobi or you have Darth Maul, I have Darth Maul, but if you have Darth Maul, he makes Jedi robes that are in scale with the figures. So they can actually be worn and they're made with real fabric. I ordered, I ordered a gray trench coat which fits on Han Solo. I don't have Han Solo yet, but the trench coat can be worn by most six inch figures. So you could get these these clothes and you could fit and customize your figures and make all sorts of characters uh the only problem is he's in malaysia so <laughs> it's taking some time for the stuff to get here but it is making i just checked tracking and it made it into the country so um we're hoping there's no ebola attached to that trench coat either that that would you know where malaysia doesn't sound like an ebola country i'm hoping that's you know don't open it up and viruses shoot you in your face and then you know that that would be a downer right there so, but um, that's what, what's coming up. So we, uh, the Uso brother will be another what's in the box coming up here shortly. Um, I'll actually have that probably within the next week or so. Um, so that might be an early uh, what's in the box uh, or a duplicate for October. Um, and then, of course, November is going to come in. And, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything is going to come in. So we, it gets kind of busy. But... Um, but we're going to keep going. We'll keep going with what's in the box. You never know what's going to show up here. Um, I kind of do, which kind of bums you out. I had several people keep telling me, oh, I'm going to buy something. I'm going to have it sent to you, and you're not going to know what it is. Well, you know, I'm still sitting here, and nothing's come in. No one has sent me anything. You know, feel free. If you got something, just throw it in a box and mail it to me. You know, contact me through uh, the YouTube, or if you see me at work, you're like, hey, what's your address? I want to send you something in the box, but I'm not going to tell you. That would be, I think that would be fantastic. I have absolutely no problem with that. That would be great to open it. Please count, keep it like, you know, don't put like, you know, lingerie or something. And it's like, I'm going to get Jedi Jack pretty good with this one. Ha, 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 ha. You know, and I open it up and it's a black lace thong. I mean, it's just... You know, what am I going to do with that? Come on, people, have you seen my gut? I can't wear that kind of stuff. It ain't happening. So, you know, keep, you know, the lacy underwear to yourself and, you know, just not, don't put it in the, put something, you know, fun or something like that. Um, if you watch my show, you should be able to guess what I collect. I shouldn't be a leap of faith. It's like, I don't know what to put in the box. I mean, he's got toys all the time, you know. Um... But yeah, just, I, I have no problem. You want to send me something in the box, I'd love to open it up. Um, but it's Friday night. Um, all the ladies in the house are gone. Or they're gone off to Myrtle Beach. They're having a blast. Um, I'm just hanging out here kind of by myself. Um, if you watch this recording and a dark, shadowy figure like moves in the background, don't tell, I don't want to know. I just wait till... You know, Monday morning when I'm at work, and you know, hey, Jedi Jack, there was something in the background. I'm watching it now, and there's nothing there. But you know these videos, and anything could happen, you know. If you see it, wait till I'm not here to tell me about it, and then we can formulate a plan. I, Bill Murray lives in the area. He's got to have one of them proton packs, you know, from the both movies he did. We can solve that problem at a later time. It's just, you know, wait till, you know, 
you know, it's daylight and stuff. You know, that'd be a better time to let me in on and I'm picking. There's, you know, there's nothing back here. We're, we're safe here. But, um, so for October 17th, for Friday night, which is funny how this always is a Friday night when I do these things, but our What's in the Box toy today was WWE Elite Series 30, Batista showing off his tattoos for whatever reason. I have no idea, but that's that's what, how they wanted to package him, you know. So, Batista, we don't want to see your face. We just want to see your tattoos. So, everyone have a good night. Have a good weekend. I will be back probably next week, could be. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I just ordered that figure, but they ship pretty fast. They'll be here. But uh, I will see you on the flip side and uh, meet you back here again probably in seven days when we, we get a cardboard box in the mail and we just got to figure out what's in the box.